I think before, like, the younger people would dance salsa and then eventually keep dancing salsa into their older years. Mm -hmm. But now the younger people are dancing bachata and they don't go into the salsa scene. Yeah. So the people that are dancing salsa, they just, you know, they retire from the dance floor and there's nobody to replace them per se, you ah, know? Because okay. the younger people like something, something is more hip, more mm -hmm. up to date, like bachata, you know? So that's why even at Stevens, like the salsa rooms are like, vacated almost you know and then yeah. you see those bachata room is like full right yes. so i mean i love it of course because i love bachata but i yes. I, I also don't <coughs> don't want to see the salsa you know kind of die because you know oh. <laughs> here we go did you hear that Absolutely. bachadicto <laughs> saying it right here Absolutely. on the interview that it shouldn't die In this video, I interview Ed Bachadicto Huerta, and he's gonna give us some of his best tips on how to become an amazing social dancer. Hello everyone, my name is Edwin, and I'm the coordinator of the IE Social, taking place every third Saturday of the month at the Dance Center in Redlands. I'm here with Ed Bachadicto Huerta, and yeah, yeah, and he's gonna be at the next IE Social and he's gonna teach a two hour, yes, that's right, a two hour sensual bachata workshop. And he's gonna teach that alongside the Inland Empire's darling, Erica de la Cruz. Ooh. So that's gonna be really, really cool. It should be fun. I can't wait. Um, and I think the IE has a lot to learn from you guys. They, they've already learned a lot from you guys, so they've already supported you guys, all that good stuff. How are you, Ed? I'm doing great, man. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I'm very thankful to be here. Uh, honored. Uh, I've seen all your interviews with other people, and I, I, I kind of was uh, thinking to myself, I, I wonder if one day I'll be sitting in that chair, and here I am today, so thank whoa, you very much. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Well, like I said off camera, um, in, my, in my goal of you know trying to share this story of dance and people's passion and that sort of thing. Um, I asked somebody, and, and I told you this, you know, I asked somebody like, who are some of the key people in LAOC, you know, IE kind of thing, and your name was brought up awesome. as someone that would be able to tell me a lot about how, um, how the LA bachata scene has evolved, you know? So, so I'm here now, and to, to see that come full circle, it's always really, really cool to see. Definitely. All right. Hey, folks, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that heart. I would do a heart with you, but it's kind of... I'll do it myself. There you go. He'll do a heart himself. <laughs> and like the whole goal of these videos is so that you guys can, can hear from these people firsthand pretty much all the work that they had to put in to, to, to be able to dance at such a high level. You know, it doesn't happen overnight. And to provide you with some value so that you guys can get to know some of the instructors get to know people, get to know people beyond the dance, because I believe there's more to it than just the dance. So, so thank you for tuning in. So tell me, Ed, how are you today? What are you excited about? Uh, I am doing great, man. I really, I really, I really am. I, I, I feel very fortunate to be alive. Um, so thankful for all the things that I have, the things I get to enjoy, um, health, uh, my family, my daughter. Um, I get to travel. I get to dance in one of the best dancing in the in the world, yeah. uh, with some of the best dancers in the world, of course. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, very very thankful for for life in general. I'm, I'm in a good place, and I, I have zero complaints, man. So absolutely, wow. thank you. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know what, people? Living that grateful life, living that appreciative life is like literally, literally take you to the next level. Absolutely. You know, I read, I read in this book, this, um, you know, this self-help kind of book, and it said, try living, try living just one day without complaining, without complaining about one thing at all. Just hold it in if you want to complain and just watch how your life changes, Absolutely. you know? And so uh, I love it. You know, I love interacting with people who live like that. Congratulations to you. Thank you. You know, um, so on to the, you know, some of these questions, I'm, I'm super excited to ask you. Um, okay, so I've, you know, I've seen you dance for, you know, uh, quite some time now, you know, and um, I really want to know how you got started in dancing. Like, uh, um, you know, people love hearing how people got started. That's a common story that we all have. Tell me, how did Ed get started in, in, in dancing? So I was born in Honduras, and uh, I was 
I started dancing back there, punta, which is that, that's a Honduran dance, Ooh, right? I know, absolutely. That's some yeah. fast booty shaking. It, it really, really is, <laughs> absolutely. So, I was in some punta dancing contests. <laughs> Before I even got a bachata, yeah, I know. <laughs> is, there any, is there any video? No, of this is a long time ago. I don't think there was any, any cameras back there. Uh, <laughs> Thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, um, actually I did a, a punta dancing contest in, in LA, on Vermont. This place called Leonardo's. I don't know if it's still open or not. Leonardo's. I know, man. Oh, it's it crazy. And, and I think I got third place, if I recall. It's so many years ago, 25 years ago at least. Wow. I know. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's, I, I, I used to dance Punta, Soca, Calypso, Reggae back in Honduras. And then and at my TV, there was a, a VH1, right? And they would play videos of people dancing. So I would just mimic them. Remember Millie Vanilli? Millie Vanilli oh, was geez, huge. Millie. Do you remember that? Millie, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I was like in sixth grade, seventh grade, or whatever, and I would watch the videos and just copy every single one of those. So that, you know, dance has always been part of me. And then uh, when I came to the states, um, and we dance salsa now in, in Honduras, but not the way we dance here. It's not. It's not. It's not as structured as you know. Okay. It's just more freestyle, right? And it's not. A, it's not really partner dancing. It's just solo. Uh, so okay. I came here, um, got married, whatever, but I got divorced, divorced rather, and then I was, um, honestly, I was looking to meet more women, right? Okay. So I'm like, where can I go meet some women, right? You okay. Know? And I thought, hey, dance classes. So I yeah. started okay. taking dance classes in 2006. Yeah. And uh, in the valley, I went to this one little studio, man, there was maybe, I don't know, 10 people there, the old ladies, you know, God bless her heart. And um, I thought, this is cool, but I need something more... With a little bit more spark, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then I went to Mama Juana's in, in Studio City. Wow. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. With uh, Walter Jones. You know who that is? No, I don't. That's the Black Power Ranger. Okay. Yeah, okay. you never really? Have you never? Yeah, I mean, he's in the dancing. You made it. Black Power Ranger, like the actual Black Power Ranger. Okay, okay. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal dancer. Very, very cool. Yeah, absolutely. Good to know. And he's a great salsa dancer. Now he's all, he got into bachata and zook as well. So, yeah, so I went there. Very cool. I didn't even know he was a Black Power Ranger because I, I'm. I missed that whole thing. I was older, I think, and I never mm -hmm. got into that, whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I took lessons for him for two years, and mm -hmm. um, I was a salsero back then, 100%, man. And, uh, what? I used to even wear the, the square toe shoes. I, I asked one, t one time someone told me, if you wear the, the white square toe shoes, that means you're an advanced salsa dancer. And if you're not, don't even wear those. And I was like, what? I know. Wait, 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 wait. So, <laughs> Bachadito right. was at one point. 100% salsa? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Uh, salsa dicto, 100%. Salsa dicto! <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> and I was like, I'm not going to dance anything else but salsa. That's it. Okay. Nothing else. Until I went to the uh, uh, Palm Springs Salsa Extravaganza. Wow. And I, 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 like, I've been seeing um, at Mama Juana's, they would play one or two bachatas, you know, and everybody would just kind of watch, you know, and what is that, right? You know. I didn't watch and discuss or anything. I was like, ah, oh, here. I was just like, what is that? Like, I didn't, I didn't know what it was, right? But, but I was intrigued. So I went there and had, had a lesson. And um, this guy, Jesus Morales, he did a lesson with this beautiful Armenian girl named Ani. Uh, I, I think she doesn't dance anymore. But, and I was just mesmerized. I was like, yeah. oh by my Ani goodness. Or by the by Ani. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the way he controlled, the way he led her, rather, and the way she moved, yeah. I was just like. I thought salsa was sexy, but when I saw her dance, her long, beautiful head, black hair, sexy body, I was like, salsa has nothing on this. I okay, was like, okay. salsa what? Yeah, salsa <laughs> yeah absolutely. So then I, I just hooked, line and sinker, man. I was just like, sold. And I came back to LA, started taking lessons with Jorge Contreras at Stevens. And, Shout uh, out to this, Jorge. Yeah, right, absolutely. Yeah, In 2009, like yeah. December 2009, there was baby, I don't know, maybe maybe 10, 20 people in that little lounge at Stevens on a, what? Wednesday, on a Wednesday night. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, very, very a wow. few people. Yeah, absolutely. And I was, I was one of them there. Yeah, I took lessons from him. And then he yeah. went from t obviously 10 to 20 to 50 to 100, 300, up to 500 people now. So, yeah, it, his story is really, really amazing. He's the one you should interview. Yeah. He should be in this chair. But anyway, <laughs> but uh, hey, one yeah, day, yeah, one day he will be in that chair. Absolutely. He has yeah. a lot to share more than, than I do. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so and then uh, the rest is history, I man. I just became a hundred percent salsa dicto. I mean, rather bacha dicto. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was, and I, I never, I never looked back after that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. So it sounds like you like bachata. Okay. Tell me, what does 
bachata mean to you? Like, is it really bachadicto? Like, essentially, you can't breathe without bachata? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I mean, is it taking over your life? Like, are you spending all your money on it? Are you like now homeless because all you want to do is be at the club dancing bachata? <laughs> that's I mean, hilarious. Yeah, that's a bit extreme. Yeah. No, but uh, uh, I, I I work out right. I work, I enjoy working out. So when I when I first started getting into bachata, I used to lift two forty five plates and a twenty five on each side bench press right, okay. and that's a lot of weight. And I would yeah. be there grunting, and I in my headphones it was Prince Royce singing Corazón de Vida. Oh my God. This <laughs> I'm not Corazón, not Corazón, not Corazón de Vida. Sorry, yeah. uh, that, that's I don't even remember what the name was. But I used to think if people would only could hear what I'm playing in my headphones, they would laugh at me because I was lifting all this heavy weight and listening to this sensual song that did not, I mean, it, it did nothing to pump me up to lift the weight. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing whatsoever, right? You know, usually people rock or rap or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Now I was into the Prince Royce and my headphones, yeah. So, um, very, very yeah, cool. bachata is, is, a, is, is, a, is a genre of music that has kept my, my interest for so long that no other genre has ever done before. Okay. Like, I love bachata just as much now as I did the first time that I like, fell in love with it, you know? And okay. uh, it, it moves me, like, it moves me to dance, it moves me to. Uh, to to have fun, you know, yeah. it, it really yeah. really is. I enjoy dancing. It's fun for me I don't do it for any other reason other than just because it's fun, you yeah. know, and, uh, and, and very, that's, very that's, cool. that's that's what I that's that's my 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 drive is that I enjoy it. I'm good at it and I have fun with it. Okay, so I believe you that you like bachata <laughs> Okay, and I think you've hinted towards where the name bachadicto comes from but like really hone it down for us, really solidify it so that when people look you up on Facebook, one of the things that pops up is like, as I'm looking for Ed, it, it kind of doesn't come up, but if I put bachata, then Ed Bachadicto Huerta comes up. So, so solidify it, bring it home to us. What, where did that come from, bachadicto? Yeah, absolutely. So when I first started taking lessons at Stevens, I was there like maybe three times a week. Wow. Monday night, oh my God. Sunday night, and either Friday or Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would always check it on Facebook, right? So my friends were like, Is, do you do anything other than dance bachata? Yeah. I was like, no. And then this one time, this one friend of mine, she said, um, it, it, it sounds to me like you're addicted to this stuff. Yeah. And I was like, slightly. And she said, well, why don't you just call yourself Bachadito? And I was like, very cool. I think you just baptized me with that name, and, it, and after, yeah. I changed my name on Facebook after that, and it was it, the rest is history. Really? That's it. Yeah, she named me Bachadito, so so the, the, that's what I am. That's why people know me now by, by Bachadito. Yeah. Very Some people cool. don't even know my real name, but you know, yeah. So it's pretty funny. Very very <laughs> cool. I love hearing you know origins and right. where nicknames come from. Um, very, very, very cool. Thank I you. I used to practically list at Stevens. At, <laughs> okay. When I was learning to dance, but like, did you have a sleep bag <laughs> in the back? I, I, I could actually. Jimmy should have put up. The <laughs> yeah, you probably would have saved money than driving home. Right. You're gonna Absolutely. be there the next day. Absolutely. All right. So, <clears throat> thank you so much for all that so far. Getting so much more insight into the 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 man Bachadicto here. <laughs> you know. So okay, you know great social dancer and you've been around to experience a lot of the growth in the Los Angeles, you know, bachata scene, okay? Tell me, tell me, why do you think, you know, you know, one of the observations and I keep pointing this out is, you know, bachata rooms get bigger, salsa rooms get smaller, um, and that's a general statement, there are exceptions, but, you know, this is just a trend that is happening, right? right? Absolutely. Um, and people want to dance later into the night, you know, and you have massive DJs like DJ Sotrix, you know, who's going to be out at IE Social, um, you know, next Saturday. And why, why do you think it's exploding this way? I, I think because Latinos are hopeless romantics. Oh, okay. <laughs> and bachata is all about love, right? Like, yeah. like it's, 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 it's love music, right? Like, Love making music too, right? You know, so it some of it, be, right? Yeah, right? Some you know, of it, right? Some so the really slow ones, right? They're really yeah. anyway. So we, we're not gonna we'll keep this PG. We're not gonna stray to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're hoping. So we we the the songs they speak of of love, right? So I think sometimes we 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 hope to find that person 
on the dance floor, you know. It'd be great if I can, you know, find this individual and mm. dance with her into the into the wee hours of the morning, right? You know, so um, so we, we we that gives us hope, <laughs> maybe perhaps, yeah. right? Yeah. But uh, also, bachata is it, it caters a lot to the younger crowd as well, yeah. you know. So a lot of younger people love bachata. It, it's 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 more hip, more. Especially with the advent of DJ, DJ, this guy, I don't know if you heard of him, DJ Soltrix? Yeah, yeah, Have you heard I think I've heard about him. Yeah, anyway. yeah. He's up and coming, right? Yeah. 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 That's a, that's a, <laughs> but uh, especially with the advent of, of his music, which yeah. is more like mainstream songs, that uh, English songs, you know, turning to bachata. So that, that, that gave it a little bit even of a boost, I'd say, you know? Yeah. And um, salsa has been around for so long that um, I think before, like the younger people would dance salsa and then eventually keep dancing salsa into their older years. But mm -hmm. now the younger people are dancing bachata and they don't go into the salsa scene. Yeah. So the people that are dancing salsa, they just, you know, they retire from the dance floor and there's nobody to replace them per se, you ah, know? Because okay. the younger people like something, something is more hip, more mm -hmm. up to date, like bachata, you know? So that's why even at Stevens, like the salsa rooms are like, vacated almost you know and then yeah. you see those bachata room is like full right yes. so i mean i love it of course because i love bachata but i yes. I, I also don't <coughs> don't want to see the salsa you know kind of die because you know <laughs> here we go did you hear that <laughs> like... bacha saying it right here Absolutely. on the interview that it shouldn't die i i couldn't agree with you more right. than that you know um as much as i love bachata i also love salsa and so, um, you know, he, he said it here. At one point, he was salsa dicto. That's right. So, um, very, very cool. Um, tell me some more. So, I, I think we know there's so much more there. So, you know, you're noticing the trends. You're talking about soul tricks and how that's also contributed to all this massive explosion. What are you, what are some more of your thoughts on this? Also, um, so as you know, Bachata when it started it was always just you know traditional or Dominican right you know yes. but now there's there's more jazz and hip hop you know and trap bachata as well you know all, don't get me started I know right all, you, you're gonna get a lot of people upset <laughs> I happy. know I know but you know bachata <laughs> wasn't wasn't handed down by the gods to the Dominican people so ah. they could, so it'd be so it'd be you know um, unadulterated by anything right yeah. you know so it's 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 not a it's not a, a sacred dance it, it's 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 Personally, mm -hmm. I think bachata is a dance that is it's not impervious to anybody's perception or okay. feelings or okay. or influences, right? Like it's 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 open for anybody to do whatever they want to do, yes. right? Yes. So, it salsa not so much, you know. Mm -hmm. it, so bachata is more fluid, more open. So you can yes. you can do hip hop to it, you can do a little bit of trap to it, you can do zook to it, right? Okay. So. It attracts people who are interested in maybe in those genres, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, I can do my break dancing a little bit into bachata as well, right? Yeah. So it's 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 more welcoming, whereas whereas yes. salsa is more rigid, I'd say, right? Yes. You know, it's it's more linear. Bachata is more yeah. open. So yeah. so it attracts a lot more of that younger crowd, right? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that that likes to experiment and, and dance outside of the confines of the dance itself. Uh, excuse me. So yeah, some people don't like that, but. You know, it's change. You have to evolve with the dance, right? You know, and bachata is, it's really in its infancy, you know, stages here in, in I think, anywhere in the world. I mean, wow. it's, I, I, there's I, more room for growth. <laughs> I think, I, I, I mean, how many years has salsa been in the, in the, in the scene, oh, right? Wow. Right? Great, great point. Right, so comparatively speaking, right, bachata is just barely uh, a few years old compared to salsa. So, in 30 years, where's Bachata gonna be, right? You know? Wow. You think I, about that? I, right? I have a feeling he'll be on the dance floor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna play a little bit of Devil's Advocate, okay? Just for the sake of creating discussion here. And, all right, so you have traditionalists, and, and I would even advocate for, for some of their arguments, for some of their points, and that is that, you know, Bachata. In, in its original form, it also lends itself to the Dominican culture and the community. It is, it is part of their culture, right? Like, right. Um, I, I was able to interview um, Demetrio, so nasty, right? Another big DJ, if you guys haven't heard of him. 
um, and um, on the podcast, and uh, he said, you know, you either dan you either grow up dancing bachata, <laughs> or you're a baseball player right. if you're Dominican. You know, <laughs> and like to me, that really hones in to. You know, I look at, at baseball, you see what's going on. You know, a lot of Cuban players, a lot of Dominican baseball players. So, so you know, some of the arguments that I've heard and that I respect, you know, and I could see both sides, is that some of the EDM remixes, right, while it has gotten the scene bigger, right, it's taken it away from its original form, right? Um, and again, I'm not here to decide which one's better, who's right and who's wrong, that sort of thing. That's not for me to say. But um, because I appreciate that, you know, maybe there was somebody that listened to, to a Soul Tricks remix, but then they end up liking Dominican, you know, mm -hmm. the traditional, right. all that footwork, da, 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 you know, I mean, just ridiculous kind of stuff. You want to learn something hard, learn that footwork, you know. Right, so, so can you speak on that? Tell us what are your thoughts about, you know, some of those arguments, the traditional versus some of how it's evolved, maybe even too much. Mm -hmm. You know, you've already kind of mentioned a little bit, but right. please elaborate. Wow. Uh, so yeah, this might upset some people, as, I, okay. as you said. But um, yeah. <laughs> as I mentioned before, so bachata is not a, 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 a dance that is impervious to change. Mm -hmm. You know, and and, and uh, yes, it was originated in the Dominican Republic, and there's, there's those purists that only like that type of music. And I yeah. respect that. I love Dominican music, right? Yes. I love I love Dominican music, but I also love urban sensual yes. bachata right that, yes. that's like my forte like i love that above anything else um and yes it, it has changed a lot but if you think about it in la it, the la dances dancing bachata scene for that for that reason exploded because of that urban movement you know that urban bachata movement um that the central bachata yeah. uh it just it, it, it took us to a different level right so even though it's not the traditional bachata and some people are upset you have to look at the overall picture right okay. you know mm -hmm. uh has it has it has it brought up brought about a positive change for the scene absolutely yes. absolutely right yeah. so mm -hmm. uh the key is to not get stuck in your ways you know and say oh you know i, I wish it was like it wasn't the old days well you know, when salsa started, I'm sure there's some people that didn't like it, right? They're like, what is this, you know, yeah. mixing, of, mixing of, of genres and all that stuff. You know, that's not going to that's not mm -hmm. gonna last, right? Mm -hmm. But it exploded the scene, right? And it brought yes. more people into dancing and, and, it, and it expanded the community, right? So it was yes. good overall, right? So yes. there's people that didn't like it, but overall it was a positive thing that happened. Same thing with, with bachata, right? So, yeah, some people might hear soul tricks and be intrigued, take a lesson, then hear Dominican and say, hey, you know what? I prefer to make it more than and if you like Dominican over urban that's fine you know or you like urban over Dominican it's also fine it's still dancing it's just there fun it, we, it's one dense community right we, yes. we're not segregated oh you're better than me I'm better than you it's not about that yeah people that make it about that I feel I feel are losing a lot of the 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 fun that there is to be gained by just yes. being open and saying hey you know they're, they're not dancing what I like to dance but that's how they express themselves and I respect that, you know? Yes. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's how I feel about that. You know, just let everybody, ex dance is just an expression of how you feel, right? So yeah. if you're jumping up and up and down to a bachata and that's the, what you feel like doing, that's what you feel like doing. Who am I to say, no, that's, yeah, that's not the way most of us dance, but yeah. if that's what you're feeling at that moment, yeah. then hey, who am I to tell you don't do that? That's wrong. Yes. I'm nobody, right? Yes. Nobody, like yeah. I'm not, I didn't create bachata, none of us created bachata, so what right do we have to say, no, don't do that, do this instead, yeah. you know, yeah. so. Yeah, and, and let's just face it, people, um, urban bachata, central bachata, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's, it's here to stay. It is. People love to dance to it, you know, when a song gets played, I mean, it's it's huge. Right, I mean, yeah, everybody right. gets out and dance. LA's so. urban. LA's yeah. urban central. Absolutely. Yeah. And to me, like the people that keep complaining about, you know, it should be a certain way. Those people are like they're like taxi drivers, <laughs> right? That that are upset that Uber and right. Lyft came, right. and pretty much central urban bachata is their Lyft and Uber. Right. Right. And it's it's not gonna go anywhere, you know. But I also like I also want the you know people to be aware of just where things come from. Just be mindful of that, you know? Um, you know, not in a lecturing kind of way, but it's just cool for people to know, you know, the, the, the history of things and to appreciate the culture. I just, like, I just wanna add, I, I don't understand if people were frustrated or angry 
at Urban because it, let's say, it took over all the clubs, right? And there was no more traditional music played Ooh. anywhere, right? Right? Yeah. But there is. I mean, you can go to certain places that play 80% traditional, right? Yes. Just like you can go to places play 80% urban and central, right? So both music uh, styles of music are still played anywhere at different clubs. You can still dance your music however you like it. It, it hasn't gone away. Like you said, urban's not going away, neither is Dominican, right? Neither is yes. traditional, right? So <laughs> don't be angry. Just enjoy it, go along with it, have fun, and let others have fun as well. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. And what I've actually noticed is that sometimes when a Dominican does, you know, a traditional Dominican music, um, bachata doesn't get played for quite some time and all of a sudden it comes out, sometimes you even see the reverse. Like there's more people right, right, dancing right, the Dominican because right. they're just excited to put in all that happy feet, you know, all that <laughs> Absolutely right. happy feet. Yeah. Absolutely. So I really appreciate, you know, I have like, I'm, I'm like a fan, okay? Um, of your social dancing and I've seen you dancing now for years and and one of the things um, and, and also I want to say that that's one of the reasons why I think your your workshops go so well you know what I mean because people people see you and Erica dancing um, Erica's very graceful your styling the musicality and you you know you're just a really strong lead you know what I mean you can like execute really really cool moves um, so tell us tell us uh, oh wait and then and the other thing that I appreciate is your like your foundation like your base you like always kind of like set up for the next move and that's really really cool you know because i see a lot of people executing moves and they're off balance you know and and uh especially the later that in the night goes and maybe a little bit more drinking <laughs> that sort of thing um but tell us what are some of your biggest social dancer tips don't drink <laughs> don't drink. Okay. No, right. Yeah. No, I'm no. hearing that more and more. <laughs> right. Now. Well, yeah. yeah. You 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 can't really dance at an advanced level and be drunk. I mean, it's really yeah. I mean, plus plus you 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 put the 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 lady or the, whoever you're, you're leading in danger. You know, because um, yeah. you just don't have all your faculty about yourself. You know. But yeah. I've never danced drunk. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't like to drink when I dance. Yes. Um, just I, I don't care, but but anyway, um, can I make a quick interjection yeah, there? Quick interjection, and that also goes the other way because I recently have danced with um, some some follows some ladies, and they've been pretty intoxicated, and so you know of course the the lead your role is to protect the follow, to um, to lead the dance, and when they're kind of like hanging on to you and it's like difficult to turn them, it's let's just say it wasn't as fun right. as it could have been and um and at t there has been times where it's flat out felt dangerous yeah absolutely yeah. so i think it goes both ways but continue you're the one here getting interviewed <laughs> well you know to add to that as well um i i turned down a lady once that was clearly drunk yeah she asked me to dance i said no thanks yeah and i, I will turn down any girl that's drunk just because uh, the, I mean, this you can't really lead somebody like that, and mm -hmm. and and they're they're probably not wanting, wanting to, mm -hmm. to dance for the fun of dancing, but for something else, perhaps mm -hmm. you know. And yeah, I, I don't. Re I rarely ever turn anybody down, especially. Yeah. I mean, it takes a lot for a woman to ask a man to dance, right? Oh yeah. So I'm very sensitive of that. But if the, the girl is drunk, I just no, thank you. Yeah, yeah just yeah. because it, yeah, there's there's no a lot of a lot can go wrong with that. Okay. So I don't, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and I've heard many stories of female leads saying, "Oh my, you know, this guy was drunk and he dipped me and dropped me, or yeah. turned me and, and messed up my bro rotator cuff, whatever, you know, cuff." Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth yes. it. Yeah. To, to, anyway. Don't drink and dance. That's no, right. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not that extreme, right. but um, I think just to, to clarify and to make sure people understand, we're not talking about having one or two right, drinks. It's right, about right. like how you're affected okay, right. by the alcohol you right. know what i mean okay. if you're a lightweight and what shot is going to get you intoxicated and you're you can't even be in your heels mm -hmm. yeah that's right. that's dangerous right? right and you know we 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 do know some people who are some what's a nice way to put it L luscious <laughs> that, that can that can right. pretty much have a higher tolerance mm -hmm. and and that sort of thing so it's right. just about safety you that's know? right absolutely safety first yes safety first absolutely safety first so your biggest but, tip is drink you have any other no no uh, yeah okay I, I'm sure, yeah okay <laughs> absolutely um so i'm big on musicality okay um, I, I i i love dancing to the beat of the music i don't believe you, you. I, 
I don't believe. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> this <laughs> guy's <laughs> musicality is crazy. Yeah? yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can you can have you know great patterns and and be great at memorizing a whole pattern, right, and, and executing it. But if you're off beat, you know, it just Oof. yeah, that's a that's yeah, that's, that's like points off, right? You know, so. Um, I don't know any advanced dancers or performers who just don't count. I just, you know, it, it, you have to learn how to count. Um, mm -hmm. In addition to that, yeah, we just have to take a class, obviously, for that, right? But mm -hmm. um, taking classes to to learn how to lead and follow, uh, they're good as well. Social dancing, if you, uh, if you take classes and don't social dance, it's kind of like buying a car and not drive, not drive it, right? You know, it's like, uh, right? You just yeah. can't. You know, yeah, I, have a, I have a car, but it's in the house, but I'm walking to work. Like, that's the, yeah. Right? So social dancing is, is, is the glue that brings it all together, right? Yeah. You know, so you, and, and sometimes people ask me, hey, you know, let's, you know, teach me something on the dance floor. No, this is not where we learn. This is where we practice what we learned in the classes, you know? So, because you can't really teach with live music, right? You know? Yeah. You know, so, so, but yeah, so, um, Man, so 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 to become a well-rounded dancer, it just takes a lot. It's kind of like a pizza, right? There's this a, a ton of slices, and okay. each slice is one thing: musicality, leading, following, um, you know, your your appearance, your your energy, you know, the, um, yeah. social dancing, uh, so much. I mean, you know, just um, mm -hmm. that involves becoming a well-rounded dancer. Just like one tip, oh my goodness, um, it'd be it'd be tough to summarize oh, yeah. it into one tip, yeah. but. Um, just because I've invested so much into every area of yeah. dancing, you know, like I haven't focused more on one thing than others, you know, like everything I've given equal amounts of energy, time, and investment. Very, very cool. Cool, cool. I want to piggyback on that question, and a lot of people, they see the final product, right? They see you doing a crazy dip, they see you leading a very awesome body role, you know, hitting something like the, the, the musicality and, you know, they go and they take one class and they think it's supposed to happen overnight, right? And, and, and that's just not the reality, right? That's just not the reality. So, um, you know, whether you don't mind being dated or, or you do mind, whatever it is, give us, give us an, uh, you know, just some time frame. How long exactly have you been dancing? And, and just give us a ballpark figure, like how many classes, how many workshops, right, do you think you've taken? Well, salsa started in 06, right, and I took two years worth of lessons in that, and that was once, uh, every Thursday I would go to Mama Juana's on that. So for okay. two years I went on Thursdays to Mama Juana's, and, wow. yeah, and then I would social dance like twice a week, uh, and then on top of that I would go to little festivals or whatnot, you Okay. Know? so, um, and then, Bachata was a little bit different. <laughs> it took me two years to become advanced in salsa. It took me six months to become advanced in bachata. So you binged? What? Meaning, meaning, <laughs> meaning oh, that you... Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I took, I, I took lessons like two or three times a week for bachata. Wow. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So like at least an hour long. At least, yeah. At least an hour long, two to three times a week. Right. And each of those nights, oh, you also... Dance two or three hours after, so yeah, absolutely. Dance. On okay. top of going to festivals, like I went to the first LA Bachata Festival in February of 2010. That would have been so cool to be at, I'm, I'm sure. Oh yeah, absolutely, that for, was amazing. For yeah. people to be there, right, to say right. I was at the first okay. LA Bachata Festival, and then for th for them to, to see what it's grown into, absolutely. right, yeah. to see how things have evolved. Lucky guy, <laughs> lucky Indeed. guy. Indeed. What year was that? 2010. 2010, right, absolutely. Okay, February of 23, yeah. I just missed it. <laughs> All right. Um, very, very cool. Um, so, you know, the whole point to that was it takes, it takes, it a, takes lot a long of, time. Yeah, absolutely. It takes a long time. It takes a while. So people fall in love with the process. Like the body roll, right? People, boom, I, boom. Right, body roll. I've, I've done thousands of body rolls over and over and over again yeah, just yeah. to get it right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here's an interesting question. How many of those <laughs> do you feel that you get wrong? Oh goodness! Like that you don't you feel like you didn't lead it right? Maybe the timing was wrong. Maybe um, maybe even the girl flat out just just rejected the body roll. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's it, funny. it happens. Yeah. Right, quite a few. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I haven't arrived. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I still make mistakes and and I just laugh at them. You know? I'm like, yeah. well, you know, I, I, she laughs, I laugh, I and I, I claim responsibility. Like if I mess up, I just raise my hand. It was me. My bad. Very cool. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. To me, that that that's chivalrous. Look, I like that. Congratulations on that. Yeah, that's, absolutely. That's, I always 
Clearance manager. That's a good touch. Your That's mistakes, a very, yeah. very good touch. All right. It was her mistake. I don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's my mistake, I hit my bad. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So you've been dancing for a while. It would be hard for me to believe that you get rejected on the dance floor. <laughs> However, you know, I've heard from experienced dancers, professional dancers, that even they get rejected on the dance floor. This can be, men have told me this, you know, leaders, you know, and, and as you said, it takes a lot of courage now for some female leads, right, to ask. The, the dealing with rejection on the dance floor it's difficult for me too sometimes, you know what I mean? I'm just like, wow, are you serious? Like, I can't, like, yeah, and, you and, say nothing to me, you know who I am? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm the courting of the IE social. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I get rejected at the IE social. <laughs> Anyways, that's another story. But, um, but tell me, how, how have you dealt with it? Some of the mental stuff that can go along with, with that. Um, I think it'd be awesome for, for men and leaders to, to hear this. So there's two kinds of rejections, right? The, 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 the first kind of rejection is where they say no to you and they go to somebody else right away. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Yeah, so yeah. Um, yeah. I, don't, I don't take it personal, um, either one. That one I think is rude more on the girl's uh, behalf. Yeah. Because if you say no to a guy and you've done this with somebody else right away, that, that's, to me that's rude, you know? Okay. Um, the second kind is maybe, and you mentioned professional professional dancers, right? Mm -hmm. um, they get rejected as well, but those I think because uh, some girls have told me, you know, when I first saw you dancing, I thought, my gosh, this guy is like amazing. Like I can never dance like him. I would never be able to dance with him. Yada yada. Okay, right. Okay. So when I went to ask him to dance, they said no because they were terrified. Okay. So right. The timidness. Right. Yeah. They were afraid, and then as they progressed and their you know dancing um, skills and so forth and so on. Later on, I asked them again. I said yes. Then we had a conversation. Mm -hmm. and I remember mm -hmm. when you asked me six months ago. I said no. Yeah. I was like, I don't remember, but yeah. Well, I said no because of the fact that I was so scared of you. Mm -hmm. So. Um, some are spiteful, like the first one, right? The other ones are more because they're afraid or maybe they, they're they not confident at that, at that moment in mm -hmm. themselves or mm -hmm. they don't like what they're wearing, <laughs> whatever that reason may be, you know? And it's it's, it's a benign reason. It's, it's, it's nothing out of malice, right? You know what mm -hmm. I'd say, right? Interesting. Um, so uh, I used to, like, not take it personal, just get upset a little bit, you know? Like, well, why are you even here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you, you got out, you got out of bed or whatever, or you came from from work, whatever. Took a shower, right? Yeah. You got all pretty, and then you're standing there, and I ask you to dance, and you say no. Like wow. why are you here? Like right? Yeah, yeah. Go home. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no, but like like why 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 even you know go through all that trouble? You know, stay up late and then say no or something, right? But then I I was like, well, then I started thinking about it, right? Why is it? There could be a number of reasons, right? Mm -hmm. So the way I deal with it now is like, hey, she doesn't want to dance with me, cool, next. And that's it. Yeah. I don't put any thought into it, you know? If I see her dance with somebody else, right away, then I think, hey, maybe she doesn't like me, you know? Maybe okay. there's something I shouldn't like about you know? And not everybody's gonna like you, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. That, so I just don't put that much thought into it. If I see her dance with somebody else, then I make a mental note. If she wanted really to dance with me, she would have said yes to me, right? I mean, so, and perhaps maybe I won't ask her to dance anymore, you know, because, you know, or maybe, she, I mean, another reason would be is because I have a boyfriend, right? And they, they, they like to go watch people dance, but they don't, they, you know, because bachata is very sensual, right? Mm -hmm. So their boyfriend's like, hey, you can go dance, but don't dance with anybody, right? Yeah. So uh, they don't, that's what they don't, they say no to me. So I, I don't know the reason why, and it's really not my, my, not that important for me to find out why. So I just, okay. Thank you very much. Go find somebody else, and that's it. Move on. I don't expect much from from dancing, from the dancing as it is, other than just having fun, right? Okay. You know. So I don't uh, I don't expect much from it. I think when you when people put a lot of, a lot of expectations on the dancing, yes. it's it, it, when things go wrong, right? You mm -hmm. know. You know they, they get caught up in little things like oh there's so much drama. There's drama everywhere, man. You know. Yeah. So you know I just go there. I dance. I rarely talk to anybody, right? Mm -hmm. I go there to dance. You know, I said the number one part. I guess that's the fun part for me, right? Yeah. I don't enjoy talking to you. If you want to talk, hey, let's have coffee tomorrow. Right? But <laughs> you know, you're right. You know. Yeah. Like it doesn't. I need, <laughs> it doesn't get, I need to get, like, get another dance. That's in. it, right? Like I have to go to work tomorrow. Like, I have to leave in two hours. I need to get as many. I need to maximize my time, right? You know. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I go there to, to dance, and, and and once I'm done, I go home, right? So 
I don't ponder it. Why did a girl say yeah. that to me? You know, so yeah. don't take it personal. You know the reason why. It could be a legitimate reason, but she's not telling you about it. You know, so just don't. Yeah. Just move on. Makes sense. Some very very good ex insight there, from Ed Bachadito. And now that we know where that name come, came <laughs> from, um, if you haven't already, my peoples, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you're watching us on Facebook, hit the like button. You know, follow the IE social page. You can follow us on Instagram as well. On YouTube, please subscribe so and, and turn on those little notifications so that when the next interview comes out, you can go ahead and watch it there as well. Um, thank you for viewing this this far, you know, and um, we're going to go ahead and actually jump into the lightning round, all right? So you ready for the lightning I round? I am. Okay. Absolutely. I'm not ready for the lightning but. round. So, um, Pachadicto. That's me. That's right. That's me. <laughs> Are you ready for the lightning round? Ready. You, he's ready. He's ready. All right. He psyched himself up. Um, all right. Um, this is kind of weird and corny, but I ask people if if lightning can be, you know, somehow done in a bachata move. What would lightning look like in a bachata dance move? Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, my goodness! Uh... So I, I I like to get behind the girl, grab her hands, and go uh uh uh. Whoa 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 whoa. whoa <laughs> to the whoa, beat whoa. of the music, right? Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> right to the beat of the music, right? Yeah. So that would be kind of like to me. That that's like the very very cool. lightning to me. Very very cool. <laughs> and here, this is what we're gonna do. If you're watching this, I'm gonna go ahead and link a video where I saw him nail that one. Um, you know which video I'm talking about, right? Yes. With, um, is her name Alexandra? No, Alexandra absolutely. Sky. Right. Shout out to right. the lady from the Bay. Great dancer. Uh, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And um, you nailed that move. And I was like, <laughs> he hit that thing. And here's the thing. Here, here's the, here's the, shout out to Ed here. I know he's here right next to me. <laughs> but, but you, I mean, it was just done in such a classy way. Oh, and, um, and, and I think that's what's key here, gentlemen. You know, leaders just do things in a classy way and you'll see the lady will feel comfortable. She'll open up to you. You'll be able to execute some of these more advanced moves, some of the more sensual moves, you know, just the way you held her hands. And, and you know, of course, he wasn't rubbing up on her. She was doing it all herself, you know, so. Just on that, smoothness, right? It's smooth, right? I think that's what, you, what you're trying to say, that I was, I was smooth, right? Yeah. So, well, it, it was smooth and it was classy. Right. And you hit it, like the, the part of the song. Well, I can't, let's just, let's just run the B-roll while we're you're doing that, <laughs> you know? Um, anyway, so that's another story. All right. <laughs> Lightning round. All right. All right. Cats or dogs? Dogs, for sure. Dogs. I don't know Absolutely. why, but I, I see you as a cat guy. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> All right. Rough. Talking or texting? No, oh, texting for sure. Texting for sure? Indeed, okay. Yeah. All right. All day. All right. If there was one song right now, like it's the last song of the night, you know, I mean, it's about to close down your favorite, you know, your favorite DJ is up there and, and you get to pick the very last song, what song would that be? You know it. Congratulations. Post Malone. Congratulations. DJ Soldier. Boom. Oh my God. Okay. Done. That's a, that is an awesome Close song. it out. Close it out. <laughs> Bam. Shut All the right. lights out. Shut the lights out after that one. Drop the mic. That's it. Everybody go home. That's it. A book. A book that every single dancer should read. Oh my goodness. Uh, dance related? It could be. What, if, hey, if you're into self development, no. so, if okay. you're into Lord of the Rings and Tolkien, <laughs> hey, you think. That's hilarious. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. No. So I, I've been in, on this emotional maturity. Um, uh, journey for quite some time, right? Very cool. And this is one book for the for the guys called uh, Wild at Heart. Wild at Heart. Wild at Heart. Right. Okay. By John Eldridge and his wife wrote a book called Captivating, which is for the females, of course. And uh, captivated, captivating, captivating. Yeah, okay, absolutely. really cool. Both of those books are huge when it comes to just growth as a human being. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, not only in the, in the dancing, of course, but just generally as a as a as a person, as a human being, emotional maturity. Yeah, that well, those were the you, you mentioned two books. You got away with that, all right? You slipped that in there. <laughs> How about a movie every dancer should read? A movie. El Cantante. Uh, I'm, see, I'm sorry. A movie every dancer should see. Oh, El Cantante. El Cantante. Uh, Phenomenal indeed, movie. Indeed. Phenomenal. Yeah, I fell in love with that movie. Very, very. What cool. else is I said, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
So if there was a celebrity at the club, shows up at the club, any celebrity that you, you know, that mm. is in your head right now, um, and you, you get to dance to Post Malone, congratulations, and Soul Tricks is up there, what celebrity would you wish that that would be? Liv Tyler. Dick. You're gonna dance, what? are you serious? What? That is awesome, <laughs> Liv, Tyler, yeah, that is really she's cool. She's beautiful, man, she's beautiful, yeah. Okay, okay, I, I like where you're going with that. <laughs> very, very cool, very, very cool. All right, so, um, who are your bachata idols as far as like people that really influence your style? Daniel Desiree, for sure. For sure, okay. Hands down. Hands down, yeah, okay. Absolutely. Daniel and Desiree. Maybe one day we'll be able to get you behind the camera. That would be really, really cool. Yes. I gotta sharpen up my, my Spanish skills. Right. And you, yeah. have go, you have to go to Spain as well. Too. Oh yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, we'll make the trip. We'll, we'll do right. it. Hey, let's set it up. Hit me up. <laughs> you know? Cool. All right, so um, tell us who you look up to in the dancing. Just people that you feel like are doing really, really cool things out there in the community. Uh, Jorge Contreras. Okay. Absolutely. Um, what he's done for this, I mean, he, he's like the godfather of the bachata scene in LA, pretty much. Wow. Yeah, he like birthed it, like, I mean, Dang. himself. Like, I, I don't know if you, if you know his, his, his story, but I, I've, I've, from day one, practically, right? I, mm -hmm. I've seen him grow as a human being, you know? Very, so, very cool. Which is why I'm on to emotional maturity as well, because I've seen a growth in him as a person, right? Yes. Beyond the dance floor and the things that he does outside of the dancing are, I mean, what he does for the dancing is, is great to provide a venue that is safe, that is fun, that, in which people can come in and dance and exercise and, you know, and, and meet others, right, socially, cool. right, and create groups and friends and so on and so forth. That, that's phenomenal in itself. If he did nothing else, then he could yeah. just go home yeah. and, and pet himself up. But he does more, much more than that, you yeah. know, so. Uh, as far as helping, you know, building homes for the orphan, orphans and, you know, things of that nature, which is really, really cool. Very cool. And his growth as a human being is just outstanding. Very cool. It yeah. sounds like you have a good connection with him. Congratulations. Jorge, if you're watching this, shout outs to you, sir. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're just a couple months away from the next. Mm -hmm. the LA, the LABF, and right. I'm sure you'll see Ed there. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, very, very cool. Um, all right. So, what do you do when you're not dancing? Well, <laughs> lift weights. Okay. So you <laughs> like to lift I weights. I do. I do like to lift weights. Yeah. Uh, I have a daughter, of course. So I hang out with her. Yes. I love to travel. Um, snowboard. We haven't yeah. had snow recently, but uh, no. Yeah. yeah. Um, Maybe we should coordinate that a little. A little snow, you know, snowboarding bachata festival. That'd be cool. Astro does a, uh, he goes to Big Bear, but he does it in the summertime. There's yeah. some snow, you know, yeah. so there needs to be a winter one. Yeah, the, the winter edition. Right. Astro, yeah, he's right. calling you out. Maybe you should do a winter edition. There you go. You get to watch this, please. Um, very, very cool. All right, so, you know, people are on social media, all kinds of, you know, people are going to watch this either through Facebook or YouTube. Um, what is your favorite social media platform? Facebook. Facebook, Hands okay. Hands down, absolutely. Hands down. Mm -hmm. All right, no Snapchat? I, uh, I'm a baby <laughs> when it comes to Snapchat. Okay. I have like five friends. You have five friends. <laughs> that I and, follow. And I think I'm one of one them. Of them. <laughs> I think I'm one of them. And then you <laughs> uh, And I have four more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, mean, I don't know, maybe I have like 10, I think. I know, yeah, very few people, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Very, very yeah. cool. I, 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 I think Snapchat is for like the younger crowd, you know, but I mean, yeah, Snapchat. Snapchat, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 expanding. It is. You know, it's it expanding. Us older people are taking over. You know, it's kind of like Facebook. Yeah. Facebook started all as you know young people, and now they're like, peace. You yeah. Know? And now yeah. it's a bunch of old dudes like me that like post our stuff on there. Yeah, very very cool. <laughs> so so Ed, you nailed the you nailed the um, the lightning round. Thank you so much for doing that. You did awesome. This is a good time. He actually kind of segued this, and I want to thank actually Jorge Contreras and the LABF team for actually being the official sponsor of this interview. Um, you know, reached out to him, and he was like, "Yeah, I would love to sponsor that." So hey, if you're looking into getting your so your pass for Los Angeles Bachata Festival, we will have a link down below, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube. And you go ahead and hit that link, and you could save money on your next pass. So feel free to check that out. You know, just hit the link there, and then you'll also be helping out these events 
by clicking on that link and purchasing your pass through, um, through that link, all right? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and ask you another question here that I think is really, really cool because you've experienced so much of dance, right? What is one thing that you would like for the dance community to be mindful of, to, to be aware of when they're dancing? When they're actually dancing? Yeah. Uh, it could be that or, yeah. Hmm. I, I would say just, just be, be, be flexible. Uh, evolve with with okay. with the music, right? Mm -hmm. So as I mentioned before, Bachata is, is in its infancy, right? So it's gonna change a lot more, you know. And mm -hmm. don't 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 become the grouch, the, the grumpy person. It's like, yeah, I don't like where it's going, you know. Yeah. Evolve with it, you know. If you don't like it, cool, but you know, just you know, stick to your thing. But don't talk negatively about the changes, right? You mm -hmm. know, because. Mm -hmm. As we can see now, the changes that are, are we're experiencing are are very popular amongst a lot of people, right? So yes. a lot of people are enjoying yeah. that, right? So I'd rather see those young people dancing in bachata than being at the you know at other clubs getting drunk and trying to find you know other ways of getting in trouble, right? So yeah. the, I, I, the the dance community is a very clean, safe environment, right? Yes. So I I love that. So if if it takes a little bit of trap chata, right, to, uh, to, to bring him in, yeah. hey, yeah, yeah, it is what it is, right, you know, so, and it's not like they're, they're playing that the whole night, so, um, so yeah, evolve, you know, be flexible, flexible rather, um, one dance community, man, you know, uh, for the love of bachata, right, you know, we, 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 we're all in the same, we're all dancers, you know, you know, so yes. there's no need to be divisive and angry and, you know, calling people's names, yes. all that stuff, you know, so yeah, just, it's love, man. Love whatever. Boom. <laughs> he hit something on the, on the head there, and I want to go ahead and piggyback on this. And, you know, I love asking people, as much as I love dancing, I love asking people about dance, right? Hence these interviews and that sort of thing. Um, and one of the things that I've asked ladies is, why do they prefer the salsa and the bachata dancing as opposed to, say, going to a hip-hop club or something like that, right? And... Nine out of ten times, what is said is how they feel safer. You know, I'm not saying that stuff doesn't happen. In the, mm -hmm. You know, in the salsa and bachata scene, there is still, but not as know, much. But right? nowhere near as much, right? Nowhere near as much, and and they like the chivalry aspect of it. That somebody still comes up to them and dan and asks mm -hmm. them, you know, would you like to dance? You know, right. they introduce themselves. And one person actually told me. I like that people ask me to dance instead of sneaking around from behind me right. and trying to... Bump and grind. But there you go, <laughs> bump and grind, right? So, so, yeah. so, you know, shout out to the Latin dance community for, you know, upholding that chivalry and, and keep that going, all right? Absolutely. You've, you hinted on something that I think is very, very important. And I would say this is probably alongside as, in, as you know, popular as your name, Bachadicto, is is your model your saying your mm -hmm. your mantra um your 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 gestalt your your paradigm right and that is for the love of bachata tell us what that is you have the hashtag mm -hmm. in fact when i put the tags on this i'm going to make sure that hashtag is in there tell me what do you mean when you say for the love of bachata oh man that encompasses everything right you know yeah. dancing the friendship the community everything uh, a few years back there was um there was some slogan in some commercial. It, it was for the love of something, and mm -hmm. and and I thought, hey, for the love of bachata. I mean, you know, why do we do this? Why do we stay up late at night, right, and go to, go to work the next day all tired, right? Mm -hmm. Why 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 do we take dance lessons? Why do we you know do this? Why why do we drive an hour you know <laughs> to, to dance, right? It's all yeah. for the love of bachata, right? Because we yes. love this stuff, and it, and it's a healthy love, right? It's it's not it's not you know. It's not detrimental to your health. It's it's not detrimental to your your family. You know, like yes. like notice that oh you dance you dance way too much. No, I mean it's 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 amazing, right? It's it's you, you gain so much from it, right? Friends uh, they become family, right? In some yeah. cases, you you find you know your, your partners, right? You yeah. love, right? You know mm -hmm. you you lose weight, right? You, you it's it, it fights depression. I mean dance yes. dance. It fights dementia. It just it's so wow. there's so many benefits of dancing, right? So why do we do it? It's for the love of it, right? Because we yes. love it. It's a it's a healthy love. It's a pure love. It's a good love. 
Very, very cool. Love that summary. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I think you're so right, you know, about the dance thing and, and everything that it, that, that, it's, that it stands for. Um, dang, people, this is a really cool interview, you know? So, so thank you for being here again, Ed. Um, tell me, um, what are some up and coming projects that you have, you know, of course, I know you're, you're putting in some time at the gym, but what other stuff are <laughs> you right. working on other than, you know, you're going to be at IE Social mm -hmm. next Saturday, That's next right. Saturday, but what other stuff are you looking forward to? What, what are you spending your energy on right now? Uh, traveling. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, I, I've been traveling quite a, quite a few, uh, quite a bit rather this past mm -hmm. year, but, um, as, as you know, I, I work with Gabe, Gabe Hernandez, right? So okay. I shout out to he, Gabe. Yeah. Gabe is the one that actually pulled me out of retirement. Really? <laughs> Back into teaching, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I taught from like 2010 through 2014. Um, had a dance company and a lot of stuff. Uh, Rob Achata, ch shout out to Tonya Borges. Wow, absolutely. Rob yeah, Achata. Yeah. From really 2010 cool. to, through 2012, uh, we had a, a, a dance team, it's called Rob Achata. Our slogan was, we like it raw. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. You like it raw? Yeah. You had that on shirt today? We did. We did. Absolutely. Wow. We, had, we like it raw. Okay. It was funny. People used to get a kick out of it, right? You know? So it was catchy, right? So uh, and then I taught at Granada for a couple of years after that to, you know, 2012 through 2014. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I just was enjoying dancing. And then Gabe, he's like, hey, you know what, man? Um, I need you to come teach, you know, you know, I'm a fan of yours. You know, mm -hmm. I, I took one of your lessons years ago. Come over and teach, and I I taught at his studio one time where he teaches that, and then the feedback was good, positive. So yeah. he said, "Hey, let's let's keep going with it," and I was like, "Okay, <laughs> you know." Very, so, very. so here I am, and now I I feel like a celebrity, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like a regular guy, right? You know, I just yeah. love to dance. That's, that's that's it. I just love dancing, and yeah. here I am getting interviewed in front of you know whoever watches this, right? Yeah. So it's, it's very humbling. So it's, yeah. it's, it's very, very cool. So he has some, some things that he wants to work with me in 2018. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely. In the IE, of course, you know, so we're yeah. trying to promote and expand and make the IE as, 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 as good as LA, right? You know I mean? Very cool. I mean, we're like sister cities, right? Like right next mm -hmm. to each other. So why can't we not bring the, the, the level of dancing in the IE? to be as good as Daniel LA, so. Very, very cool. Shout out to Gabe, Absolutely. putting in the work. Congratulations to you. Bringing this man out of retirement, <laughs> you know, we're very right. grateful for that. As I said, um, people are excited about your workshop. Um, I did like this pre-sale thing online. I just blasted it out to the, um, to our email list and boom, like there was already like people that are interested in, in, in taking your workshops. So um, check out the iesocial.org page and you get pre-sale information if you wanna save some money on that. Um, all right, so where can people connect with you the best? You already say you like Facebook, is that? Yes, yeah, pretty much it, and when I'm dancing, you just, just okay. pull me up and say, hey man, uh, you know, uh, what, what's going on, what's up, whatever, you know, type thing, yeah. So, Sometimes people do that and hey, give me your number. I want private lessons for you and stuff, you know. So, Very cool. Yeah, uh, but but Facebook um, is pretty much the yeah. I, I have an Instagram account, but I don't really use it much. Okay, uh, it's it's private because I just go on on that every once in a while. Really. Yeah, but yeah, FB. That's it. FB. All right, and Facebook. <laughs> um, well, again, people, thank you so much for watching this. Everybody, you know, who's tuned in, please. Go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever platform you're watching it in. There's so much value in, in, this, in this interview, you know, and even the interview with Erica. There's just so many cool things to learn about the dance community. So much to learn about your, your journey, mm -hmm. you know, your contributions, who affected you, you know, who had an impact. Um, so for those of you watching, thank you so much for continuing to support this. We will catch you at the next IE Social, December the 16th, and we're going to have a little known DJ, um, uh, DJ Soltrix. Um, he's going to make his way out here all the way from Tampa, Florida. I mean, this dude's coming from a long way, and he's going to mix for you all the way till 3 a.m. Um, if you haven't heard, it's going to be a naughty or nice pajama party. So um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna get interesting. And there's tacos there. Oh yeah, yeah they have we have tacos. Yeah. And by the way, because it's a little cold right now, you know we're filming this in December, um, and it's been a little colder. It's been a little windy. The our taco lady said she's gonna bring out. I think I don't know if it's menudo or pozole. Wow. So you know that that's gonna oh be a God. hit. People are gonna want something warm. 
Yeah, watch Ooh, out. He, wow. He's going to be there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. After the workshop yeah, or before? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm kidding. Both. Um, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. That's why I live, so I can eat as much as I want. <laughs> ah, I like the way you think. So, Ed uh, Bachadicto, thank you so much from the bottom thank of my heart so for doing this. I appreciate your time. We'll see you guys on the next one. For the love of bachata. Boom! <laughs>